Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the August Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, yesterday, we had a kind of a, honestly a silly problem. So, hopefully, today will be a little bit more interesting. Uh, this is also Saturday. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this a regular series, but I do want to do an extra bonus poem just to catch up on all the poems I haven't done yet. Uh, let's see, right? Um, uh, and yeah, and a lot of them are premium, but, uh, but I do want to do a couple more. Uh, for, there, there are 646. I want to say, uh, what did I click on? I want to say this means questions, but what does QTS mean? Quarters? Questories? Qs? Qs? In any case, I believe maybe there's a hundred six. Uh, that's how many problems I need to do. Uh, and a good to remember, uh, uh, like in database or something. So I don't know. So maybe I'll do a couple, but st uh, follow along to kind of, you know, just hang out. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let let's get started on today's poem. I went eight miles today. I, I lied, I suppose. I went eight miles today on the New York summer streets. Uh, if you're in New York, definitely check that out. Uh, there's only one more week next week where they shut down most of, uh, is it 6th Ave? I don't know. Google Summer Streets New York. And even if you're not from New York, just check it out. It's kind of nice. They shut down the streets and yeah, it's just nice to be around, I suppose. Anyway, let's take a look at today's day, uh, today's problem. We have 869, we ordered power of 2. You're given an integer and we, we ordered the digits in any order, including the original order. Okay? Such that the leading digit is not 0. We turn true if the if and only if we can do this so that the resulting number is a power of 2. What does that even mean? We order the digits in any order, including the original order, such that the leading digit is not 0. Uh, I think I'm a little bit confused about this one. Uh, or maybe it is like one of those trick random questions, right? Um, the reason why I'm a little bit confused is, as we established yesterday, there are a lot of different ways to do powers of 2. Also, I, I didn't mention this. Maybe I was too tired yesterday, but uh, and today I, I stepped a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, it, it's, a, it's a little bit on the trivia side, right? I mean, you can say a lot of things on competitive programming are trivia in the sense that, you know, you know it or you don't. Uh, you could come up with it, but it's not super interesting. So, so I don't know, right? But in any case, uh, as one of the things that we said is that the power of two is it only has one, one in its binary, right? Oh wait, I am just being dumb. Okay, I see, I see, I see. All right, all right, I, I okay. Uh, the the reason why I, I um, <clears throat> I see, I see. Okay, yeah. The reason why I, I was a little bit confused was that I thought for some reason, and maybe it's just my head in the wrong place. Uh, we I, I the we order the digits in any order. I assumed that um, I thought it meant that if we order the binary digits, um, but but yeah, but because we can reorder the base ten digits, that's a little bit different. Okay, I think I get it now. Uh, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Right, one is. Well, the, the nine digits, you can do a nine factorial thing, check every possibility, check with this power of two. Of course, uh, 10 to the nine, there are only 32 of them. So what can you do? Well, you could pre-process 32, the 32 numbers. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then you could, uh, for the reordering thing, you just try to do um, uh, what I would say, a canonical um, thing of it, which you can use for... Um, for like a, a, a frequency table of the digits or something like that. Or you could even just sort it in a good way, right? Um, and let's do that, right? Um, and this part I'll write inside the code. It runs every input, but you can pre-process this. I could go over how uh, for lead codes purposes, but you can if you want, right? So if we would write something like, do 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 like let's just go up to like 32, right? Um, now we have power of 2 to the i is the number, right? So maybe num is equal to this. And then uh, now uh, we can just convert it to a string in Python is easy. We could sort the string, which also in Python is easy. And then now we could convert it back to a string. So what we did is that we just contain, can uh, 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 um, sort the digits, right? 
So then now we could say maybe p if we're powers of 2, I don't know. So then p.add, we have this thing, right? Um, and that's it. And then now, you know, let, let's print it out just in case. Make sure that I, I'm not lying to you, slash mistake, right? So yeah, we have 1, 2, the single digit ones. Um, here you do will have leading zeros. But these are not meant to be numbers per se. I mean, it is meant to be the canonical version of these numbers, meaning that um, if you apply this to another number and this number and the order doesn't matter, then they will map or map and equal each other, right? So all that's left, and maybe you could write, even write, change this uh, thing to just say, uh, I don't know, uh, naming things is tough, so I'm just going to call it F, right? f of num, right? And then you can say f of x, do, 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 right? Something like this, right? Because then now you can just check f of f, f of n in p. If it's in p, then we are Gucci. If it's not, we're not. So there you go. Give a quick submit, and there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, again, we this once every time, but it is only 32 times. Each of them may be taking 32 operations, so you can say it's 32 squared. Not too bad, but of course you could you could see that this hap this we, we do the same amount of work no matter what the input is, so you could pre-process this. I'm not gonna go over how neat code because I feel like that's just like a very legal specific thing. But in your own um, whatever you're doing, then that's how you would think about. It. Because then now let's say you you remove this so that it's quote unquote constant. Now you this just reduced to this problem, and of course uh, there is some sorting, but the sorting is like nine log or uh, yeah nine log nine because it is. Num um, is the number of digits in nums um, in base 10, which is going to be log base 10 of the number, right? Which is 10 to the 9, which means that 9 digits. That's it. Um, that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, maybe, uh, I'm going to do a bonus problem. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.